I'm going to give you a second to guess what this is, and I'm going to be very impressed <laughs> if you actually know what this is. It's the spring movie from the Blender Open movie thing. Every single frame is basically sampled and averaged. A lot of this thing is very, like, wintry and blue. And then at the very end, it gets brighter and redder and all this. And it turns out you could just swap out what movie or video clip you want. In fact, let's take this video right here, pop of color. I don't know if that's going to be visible. Or maybe I get rid of some of this color and reintroduce it. By the way, this video is sponsored by Square space, but we will talk about that not now, but later. Make a geonodes object right here, and we don't need the cube. I want to represent this as a circle that is subdivided by angle. Bring in a cone. Delete geometry bottom face, so this will get rid of that. Let's do a compression to the xy plane. This vertex count basically represents the number of samples we're taking. So now we need to sample our video clip or movie or whatever, so I need to import that in. Spring open movie, a video clip that we can actually extract information from. For every single frame, I can know the width of it, the height, so aspect ratio, how many frames. So width divided by height is the aspect ratio. And the frame count is how many samples we need to take, which is a bit overkill. So I'm going to take this and divide it by some number, 20. We're going to also use this as the number of samples. I want to generate a grid of pixels with this aspect ratio and resolutions dependent on the width and height and sample those colors and average them out. We need a grid scale up the X by our aspect ratio. This movie has a very wide screen vibe to it. X pixels is the width and Y pixels is the height. Let's see, 1280 by 536. And you can see that represented. This is going to be a big calculation. Something like half a million pixels can kind of get away with kind of down sampling this. It's almost like taking a HD movie and compressing it down to basically 360p, which in general will have the same kind of color palette. Divide our resolutions by, let's say, 20. Take this image and actually extract info out of it. Control shift click, scrub through the frames. You can see we're playing the movie at incredibly low resolutions, but it is highly, highly duplicated. It should be looking at the UV coordinates and stretch to fill the rectangle. We have UV coordinates. Connect those there. Connect the frame number. We have the movie kind of as a player in real time. Multiply by zero. This will be the first frame, 20th frame, 40th frame. And on every single one of these frames, I want to sample the color average color. Attribute statistic, the grid, particularly the faces. We don't really have an option for color, but vectors basically are colors. Look at the mean. So as I scrub through this, you can kind of imagine what's happening through the movie. I don't want this for a single frame, but I want to sample this over frames. Each one of these triangle pie wedges should get a sample of the 0th frame, then the 20th frame, and then the 40th frame. In other words, I want to store the average information. This time I can literally express it as a color. Average, and that is dictated by the the mean, which means mean average color. Of course, I don't want to do this for every single face because then we kind of have the same issue. I want to write this to faces, particularly where the index of the face is equal to some number. We can write at only a particular point and dictate what that color is. Okay, let's loop and iterate through this. Repeat zone, not a simulation zone, since we only need to calculate it on the present frame. Iterate for the number of faces, 20 samples. We are going to store named attribute where we're doing it for this selection, for this average. So I'm just doing the same thing, but I'm repeating it now. I need to feed in the information I want, particularly this cone object. Visualize the output. I don't always want to write to the ninth face, but it should go from the first face to the second face, etc. So I'm going to make a variable where I add by one, equaling zero, one, two, three, it accumulates. And this is the frame number I care about. Okay, it's still a single color. Let's think about why. Well, this must indicate that we are writing to everything, but it's all from the same frame. And that makes sense, because remember, we have this number here that basically screws through the footage, that should be changing. Particularly, I can just put this in over here as well. And long story short, we have a parameter for the number of samples, which cannot be under three, because otherwise the cone doesn't exist. As we take more samples, it will be more representative. And here we go for a big calculation. It might take a second. 200. It was uh, eight seconds to calculate this. This is uh, pretty precise. We need to transfer all this information over to a material. So I'm going to set material. Notice that all of this information is stored in the average attribute and in the material. It's called average. Cool. As I talk about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, I thought it'd be fun to incorporate what we talked about. So I'm going to try to find some generic Squarespace ad that somebody or the company made, and it's going to calculate the color palette as we go. So if you haven't heard about Squarespace, it is the easiest way to make a beautiful website. There are templates, you drag them around super easy to get analytics to your websites. So you're not going through this blind. You want to know where are people coming from, from your phone, from Russia, like demographic information. You have an asset library baked into the service, meaning you don't have to 
store your images somewhere else and maybe those links die and all that, it is in Squarespace and you can reference that. And third of all, if you're using this website as kind of a commerce storefront, whatever, you can easily incorporate payments, whether that be PayPal, credit card, whatever. Maybe you can turn this idea into a business printout of posters or something. You can actually just head over to Squarespace and design a website. And when you want to take that website and launch it, make it live, you can use my link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you for watching.